New at 5.30, a wildlife group is asking UDOT to make changes to a highway between I-80 and Park City. They say there's an alarming number of drivers hitting deer and moose. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher shows us how UDOT is responding. On SR-224 lie scattered signs of animals that tried to scurry across of cars that came to a screeching halt. We've had moose and deer and elk hit recently, almost on a daily basis. Save People, Save Wildlife has been keeping an eye on this road from Kimball Junction down to Park City. They're concerned by what they see. It was sad to see a baby moose and their mother get killed. According to a report published by UDOT of vehicle animal collisions across the state, SR-224 is considered the fifth biggest hotspot. They and a local community member started two petitions now signed by thousands for change. And the group meets with UDOT as well as local leaders, not just to complain. We have seen study through study time after time that wildlife crossings with corresponding fencing do reduce these collisions from anywhere to 70 to 90 percent. Safe People Save Wildlife would love to see a wildlife underpass, much like this pedestrian one that goes under SR-224. But they say a project like this could take years. So they're hoping for some short-term solutions until then. But if we can get 45 mile an hour speed limit consistently from Kimball Junction all the way into town, that'll, I think it'll make a difference. And then and along with that needs to come enforcement. With any issue, you want to find out exactly what you're dealing with. UDOT that. says they're studying the issue now and that they've seen success with the wildlife overpass on I-80 installed a few years ago. We want to have a clear understanding of, of the issue and this area and see how it compares to other areas that are nearby. They say they want to make sure any proposed solutions serve the intended purpose. Save people, save wildlife is hoping that soon. There are options. We can work together. In Summit County, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.